Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm going to be reflecting on uh, Brenda Brown's talk that she gave for TED on the power of vulnerability. And um, she opens her talk starting with connection. And connection is this thing that we all strive for. It's what gives her life purpose and meaning, and basically she says that it's why we're here. But lots of us have this deep rooting fear of disconnection and not being connected to other people. And um, it's like this feeling of, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, or whatever. And um, she says that this feeling is actually shame. And uh, it's like feeling that if someone finds out something about you that they're not gonna like you anymore, or that you won't be worthy of connection with them. And the thing that she says underpins the shame is this excruciating of vulnerability. Um, the idea that we have to let go of ourselves to be seen for who we are in order to have valuable, meaningful connections with other people that we so desperately desire. And so um, Brown took some time to deconstruct shame and figure out how it really works. And she collected thousands of stories and data um, and discovered that there are really two different types of people. And um, the first group of people are people who have a strong sense of long and love and belonging. And the second group of people are people that actually struggle to feel the belonging and love. And um, the one thing that um, separates these two different kinds of people is that the first group believes that they're worthy of these things. They're worthy of love and belonging. And the second group doesn't believe that they're worthy of this. And so then she goes further and, and starts to just look at the interviews and stories that she collected from the first group of people um, who she um, called wholehearted people because... They came from this um, deep sense of worthiness, and um, she went on to find that these people have a, what they have in common is that they have this sense of courage, um, that these people have the courage to be imperfect, the courage to let other people see who they actually are and where they are coming from, and um, they also had the compassion to be kind to themselves because you can't be um, compassionate with other people if you can't show compassion for yourself first. And um, um, they were able to have the, their connections as a result of their own authenticity. And they're willing to let go of what they thought they were supposed to be or who they should be in order to be who they actually are and who they were meant to be. And um, that is what actually allowed them to connect with the people and that's what must be done in order to connect with others and lastly they embrace their vulnerability which for me kind of like doesn't even make sense vulnerability seems like this terrible thing but um they kind of approach vulnerability with the attitude that what made them vulnerable is what made them beautiful and what made them special and what really made them awesome and um they didn't see vulnerability as like excruciating and like terrible but they also they didn't um they didn't see it as comfortable it was it was just necessary it was something they had to live with and they were going to approach it in this positive way and after I watched this video I was kind of in awe of what she was talking about it kind of it helped me realize that um being vulnerable is okay and I realized in my own life that I tend to push these feelings of vulnerability to the side and kind of ignore them and forget about them. And I, I guess that's just my own way of numbing. And what Brown talks about is that numbing isn't, isn't good. It isn't good at all. Because you can't just numb one thing because you're going to numb all of the good emotions and like happiness and you're not just going to be able to numb one specific thing without numbing everything. And the problem with this is that um, our positive emotions will be lost as a result of blocking um, vulnerability. But I guess what I learned is I don't need to do that anymore because 
vulnerability really isn't bad. There's like a really, there's a way to deal with this that, and look at it in a positive way because it's not, it's not a terrible thing. And um, yeah, um, vulnerability is the birthplace of shame and like negative and all these negative things, but it also is the birthplace of creativity and connection and all these positive things. And um, I really enjoyed this video because it really it did a lot for me and really helped me grow as a person and change the way that I that I need to treat myself and the way I need I need to interact and connect with other people. And um, so this TED talk really inspired me to embrace my vulnerability and strive to become a wholehearted person like Brown talks about and do all those things and look at life in the way that they look at it. And um, I guess what I'm taking away from this is that I want to let myself be seen, not as others want me to be, but be who I am and who I'm supposed to be because I know that I kind of allow myself to be kind of pushed around and be what other people want me to be and I don't need to do that anymore. And I guess also I'm taking away from this that I need to like um, practice joy and gratitude in, um, even in moments of terror and to love with my whole heart and accept the fact that I, I am enough in that as I am, I am worthy of love and belonging and nothing can actually um, take that away from me. And only once I've realized this and begin to apply this in my own life can I actually be a wholehearted person. And um, that's my goal and that's what I took away from this talk. Thanks for listening.